Hey there, YouTube. I just thought to show you how to make a super clutch, safe clutch, uh, do it yourself, three spring outside style clutch. Just be aware that your clutch cover is not going to fit and your pants could probably get caught up while it's spinning if your feet is near the, that area. Uh, these springs here, I think they're for like a 3D printer. And uh, these springs are uh, 14 millimeters outside diameter, pretty much the outside circle. And then four, uh, 20 millimeter length, that's how long they are. And the inside diameter is 7 millimeters. Just look that up, uh, That the dimensions I just said. And they're, they should be out there. Uh, there's different uh, thickness. There's yellow ones, and I think that's a soft one. And then there's like medium i think is blue and then red's like stronger i think and then there's another stronger one like a turquoise and then there's like a brown and the brown one is a lot more torquier uh, i don't know if the brown one you could even compress i i don't know apparently i think these are 300 pounds i could be wrong but i think they're 300 pounds so if you see 300 pounds that's 300 pounds all the way around and you could also drill more holes and instead of having it three springs, you could have six springs and it should grip like your plate much better. You know, instead of having three, like three cornering it, instead of it's like four cornering it, but not four cornering it, you're six cornering it, you're grabbing it more. Uh, I'm going to show you how to kind of put it together, how to make one. And uh, yeah, uh, what I did, normally people uh, get like a, a threaded uh, rod. You can buy thread rod, right? Uh, like a bolt, but not a bolt, just threads, all thread. And uh, they pop the pins out. So pretty much on the back of the plate, the pins, you get a, uh, a hammer and you, you get something there and you hit the pins out. And once you're done hitting the pins out, uh, you get like a tap set or a die. And then you tap the some threads into those holes. You got to get the right size. I don't know the size because I skipped that sk step. I didn't do that normally, but I'm still gonna tell you the process. Uh, you tap die it, you thread it, and then you put. Uh, you, then you have the rod, and then you put the rod, and then you twist it, and it goes on to your three proms from your standard uh, clutch. So it's pretty easy. If you don't have a welder, you could do it that route. Uh, at least you kind of know how to do that. You got the idea, okay? And uh, man, I should have showed you how to do it. Give me a sec here. Also, I recommend putting washers here for the springs. But uh, anyway, this is how it works. Uh, pretty much your bucking bar is going to be on the clutch side. And then you put your ball bearing here. And then your shaft is right here. So there's a ball bearing, bucking bar. So it still goes in and out. And uh, basically, when you press it, you're, you're pressing this, this route. So the plate's going outward, you know, like this. Boom. It's going outward, right? So it goes out, and you're pressing it, pressing it, it goes outward. But the springs are putting pressure into it, so it pushes it back. So you go out, you could, with the lever, the force of the lever, whatever pound pressure you apply, it pushes out, and then the spring pushes it back in. And then, but you also gotta torque these springs. The springs are not torqued, but you torque to a certain limit, so you still have enough to, uh, pull out for the clutch won't be engaged uh supposedly they stop slipping uh but i do know the expensive ones they have like this aluminum or stainless steel plate so there's that and i think even if you buy the safe clutch from the guy he tells you you have to tap it and stuff like that so i'm pretty much telling you what you do to do this and uh they say that you need a longer bucking bar when you do that kit but I think you don't even need a longer bucking bar. You could just use a longer, uh, I'm going to call this the push bar. Uh, normally, it's a, the spring would go here. This pin would keep the spring and it apply force. And pretty much it will be pulling, going outward and be pulling. But in this concept, it's a different way. The springs are in the front and the, the springs are pushing the plate. So you can imagine torquing it down. It's like... Imagine if you even didn't have springs, you just torque it down, your clutch will be a gauge all the time, right? Well, with the springs, you're going to keep it a gauge all the time. And then you press the lever, and then by pushing this rod here, 
you're disengaging the clutch. And uh, here we go. Uh, like I said, what you gotta do too, if you're gonna make it yourself, put a, D a DIY, do it yourself uh, aftermarket fake uh, safe clutch. Besides getting the, the correct springs, uh, you're gonna have to do this too. Oh, uh, look. I'm just gonna show you this right here. Uh, what I did was I got bolts that were just like a hair bigger than these holes. And these bolts actually had like an Allen head and these are actually grade eight bolts. And I just like lightly sanded uh, the thing and then I stuck it in there, but not all the way in there, just a little bit under in there. Probably like a couple, like a millimeter and a half of gap between it. And then I just, not gap, I mean like from where the head I mean, was flush, you know, it's not dead flush in there. So I welded it, got an angle, I hit that corner, and then I fed it in there. And I went like that, and then I hit in the middle, and then I stayed in the middle, and it gl it was glowing. I, I was using hot heat, you know, uh, and then I just, with the flapper disc, lightly sanded it. I went really light, and uh, yeah, it, it seems like it's going to work good. Uh, also, I just did another one, just to do another one, just in case if it works, I don't have to take my time and make another one uh, but what you are going to do here is uh, you put your flower nut in here and it pretty much the flower nut is the diameter of this or at least it was for this one here and on this one it was not but I could have been this one takes a different flower nut but yeah you can do it like that with the flower nut and that or like I said, pretty much the same style bolt here because this is a grade 8 bolt. You can see the threads go here and then it's a smooth shaft. Uh, you could go like that. Get one of those with a smooth shaft. Make sure it's this diameter and then uh, cut the head off. And then you have all this right here. And then you'll probably have, you know, like the shaft be this long or whatever. And then the threads go here. Unless you specifically order some online, you could probably get one that after you know how to make one or two or get the, the length that you need, you could, you know, have it with not having threads, but I'm just saying, you know, you could just make a longer one of these and your problem would be solved. And like I said, with the with the, some extra threads here, you put the nut here, then you put a washer, and then you just gotta find a washer that actually fits like inside here. Like inside this hole here like very like inside inside and then once it's in there and then you gotta find your your bolt you know with the threads and stuff like that it goes in here and you'll be like that and then you sandwich that one washer inside here with like a bigger washer or something and then it'll be sandwiched and your your thing won't go up and down because this washer's keeping it even. And then when you torque it down, you'll be tight. Well, I think you got the basic idea how to kind of put one together. Uh, like I said, it's this plate, a ball bearing, and the bucking bar. You can make a longer bucking bar or you can make a longer push bar. We're going to call that a push bar. And yeah, you could go with uh, acorn nuts. This is stainless steel. I didn't got the chrome polish one. They're all out. But chrome polish does look a lot nicer. Like you've seen in the beginning of the video. I think these regular nuts stand out more than these acorn nuts. Because these weren't chrome finished. These are just like stainless steel. And uh, yeah. But yeah, you go anywhere and you get these hardware. And you can do it yourself. Like I said, I'm gonna put a, I'll put a washer here. A nice chrome washer. Uh, the store was closing, so I was in a rush. Couldn't get the right one. But yeah, that's it. Uh, hopefully, I helped you guys out. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, if you have in, in information or ideas for next videos or what videos should I do, uh, I'm always open to that. You tell me, uh, hey, I want to see a detailed video of how to do this or how to do that. This video was in detail. I'm going to try these out. Give it a shot. And if I like them, you know, because right now I don't have an engine for it. Eventually, I'll build a, another Minerali or something like that. And when I do build another Minerali, 
uh, I'm gonna try the stock clutch and see if it slips. And if the tr uh, clutch slips, I'm gonna slap one of these on there and see if it stops the slipping just by instantly installing it and adjusting it, seeing if it stops the slip. And if it does, then I will highly recommend maybe doing this if you're gonna go on a low budget mineral rally build or you, your clutch is slipping and you have a lot of power on your engine or you think you have a lot of power in your engine and you just have a lot of torque maybe or something or your clutch assembly isn't on there right or you just need new clutch pads but anyway it is what it is uh some people run like three here three there and three there and, or some people will put two there two there two there like six uh you can do as many pads clutch pads as you want it doesn't really affect too much but it is what it is uh also you could probably drill holes on there make it look cool if you know how to engrave engrave this plate or something <coughs> but like those old school uh colt 45 guns with the scrolling that'd be pretty cool i want to get into that i want to learn how to do some scrolling i'll be pretty cool do some uh like colt 45 scrolling old school one from like the guns and then like maybe even do like pinstripes or whatever uh i know they, they sell these nice plates that have like like frankenstein faces skeletons and everything those look pretty cool i just uh couldn't really afford it and i decided to just do this as almost like a a guinea pig trying it out and i'll let, definitely let you know stay tuned subscribe and you'll see updates and i'll let you know how good is this setup if it's worth spending buying springs buying bolts doing all the work pulling out your clutch assembly getting all your your washers lock washers whatever you want nylon nuts these are nylon nuts so uh your vibration won't break those loose but still you know see if it's worth doing all this and i'll let you know i'll give you my honest opinion all right cool hopefully this helped out people that decide or wants to build a clutch like this because i know when i was looking i couldn't find no videos of it and uh yeah like and i was looking maybe eight ten years ago i'm how old am i yeah 50 so yeah yeah when i was even 12 or 13 i wanted to put uh build a clutch like that and i just didn't really get the idea how to do that uh but all right hope you like Subscribe, share, and all that. Oh, also, I'm going to get a new pipe. This is a 65, uh, KX65. I'm getting a KX85 pipe, and I'm going to see the power band difference. Uh, I'm definitely going to make a new exhaust for this bike and see if the power band, if I get more speed, hey, maybe that more of the airflow allows this engine to breathe and get the full potential of hitting 65 because right now I'm tapping out like at 52, 53. Uh, and I see other people with similar setups and they're going way faster. And I'm just like, okay, something's not right. It could be the pipe. All I know is when I build another pipe for my other bike with the mineral conversion, the, the pipe was restricting it. It really was. Or at least that's what I thought. And honestly, I think it, it is what it is like the pipe. You need like a less restricting pipe because uh, like that force of like it doesn't allow your engine to breathe correctly. So, yeah, I'd like to see uh, if you decide to build one and, you know, you see my video, leave a comment and show video of it. I'd like to see a video of your super clutch. All right, man. Like.